What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video we are going to look at the strength to damage output. So the strength attribute on your thrall to the actual damage output that your thrall has as it levels up. And we're going to do a whole bunch of math and I will show you how you can do this yourself for any thrall that you end up picking up in the world. So jumping right into it, I have a couple of Leons here and this Leon is not leveled at all. He is level zero. And then this Leon here is level 20 and uh, has some pretty good strength. It's not, not the best, but it is pretty good. So the first thing that you wanna do is if you're on PC, you can have your thrall uh, follow you. You can hit the tilde key or the insert key and then you want to type this get get follower stat space damage modifier melee that's going to tell you that his damage modifier is 3.4125 and you can do that with uh we'll do that with both of the thralls so that you can see that they are uh both the same here so there you go level uh zero and level 20 has the same damage modifier the other way you can get this number is on the wiki and it is listed for most if not all the thralls that you're able to capture so i will link that in the description of this video in case you don't have access to that information like if you're on console you wouldn't be able to pull up uh, that screen so you can get that information over on the wiki so specifically what we're looking at is what does this number mean? So strength is at 30. What does that equate to in actual damage output that your thrall is doing? And I've got a way to test that today. So what I'm doing is I'm giving him a uh, modded weapon that I made. It has 100 health damage and 100% armor pen. And Leon comes out of the box with 30 in strength, which means that he already has points over the 3.4125 so let me uh back up for a second if he had zero strength and i gave him a weapon that was doing 100 damage 100 percent armor pen his damage output is going to be 341 to 342 uh depending on the rounding of hit point damage to me with the 30 in armor pen and i'm going to throw some math up on the screen real quick what you'll find is he actually does 426 damage because what happens is you have to take the 30 multiply that by 0.82 which equals 24.6 you then take the 24.6 and you multiply that by his damage modifier which is 3.4125 and that equals a total of 83.94 you then take the 83.94 and you add that to three point or you add that to 342 which equals 426 damage and i'm going to show you that on the screen real quick of how he uh, does 426 damage to me and then i'll explain where the 0.82 number comes from so in order to do this, I am using a mod from Firespark, and then uh, I am taking myself out of the clan with Pippi, and I am going to simply ungod and uncloak and let him give us hit. Now the hit that we are looking for is a light strike because the heavy strike, which he uh, continues to do here, is actually uh, modified as well. So. Uh, we're looking for a light strike. When we get it, we will uh, see those damage numbers properly. And there we go. 426, like I told you uh, before. And that is exactly what we expected out of his swings. So we know that each point in strength is worth a 0.82 increase in damage output, but that's only part of the equation. So in order to actually get the full amount that is increased per damage point, you have to know the damage multiplier. So 0.82 times 3.4125 in Leon's case is going to give you 2.8 in increased hit point damage per point in strength. 
And for those of you that are going to ask how I am getting the damage numbers to pop up on the screen, that is from a mod that is Hosev's UI mod, and you can download that via a link in the description of this video. So then if we take Leon that is level 20 with 53 total in strength because you add the 50 to the plus 3 now for their total, uh, we should see a damage output of 490 or 491 depending on the rounding that happens in the game. So if we uncloak and uh, let him give us a hit, if he'll do it here, come on there buddy. And that's a heavy strike. We'll try it again here, see if we can get him activated. There we go, and 490, like I had said. So let's talk about how the heavy strike works. So if I get him to uh, hit me with a heavy strike here, if we can do that, come on now. This time I want a heavy. There it is. So he does 589 damage. Now that's 99 damage more than what he did when he hit me with the light strike. Basically, the heavy strike is the same math that we used before plus the weapon damage. So if we use the same mathematical equation for uh, the heavy strike, basically you use the same math and then you add the weapon damage into the total again and that's where uh, those numbers come from now there is some rounding that goes on that's why it was 99 hit points instead of 100 additional damage but uh, that is the math behind how this all works i'm also going to type out all the mathematical equations that i used in this video in the description of this video as well so that it's easy for you to say copy and paste that into a text document for future use so hopefully i've explained that in a way that you can understand and that you're able to follow and Basically, the reason why I did this is because I want you guys to be able to figure all this math out for yourself. I regularly get questions where people are like, well, what's the best thrall? Who's the strongest thrall? And the answer is it can be any uh, thrall that levels well, right? So any thrall that levels well in the strength can be a very, very good thrall for you. There are some guidelines that I would give you as far as where to start so i would start with a high level thrall like a relic hunter treasure seeker the Lincia snow hunter sumerian berserker leon or a janos uh, any of the named thralls from the volcano so start there level them up and if they level well into strength you have a really really good thrall and you can do the math on the damage output for uh, thrall a versus Thrall B yourself and know which one is actually doing more damage. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.